Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Status, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our biology playlist. In last videos, we talked about the musculoskeletal system. Today, we'll start a new sub-series in biology, genetics. Let's go. Please watch these videos in order. Ever wonder why people are different? It has to do with genes. Recall that the cell is the building unit of the living organism. A group of cells will make a tissue. A group of tissues will make organ. A group of organs will make a system. And the group of systems will perform your body functions. Who is the brain of the cell? The nucleus. Because it contains your DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, which is made of three things, sugar backbone, phosphate, and nitrogenous bases. What's the function of this lovely DNA? It encodes for proteins, such as your enzymes, which carry lots of body functions. Basically, open any biochemistry textbook. What do you see? Lots of enzymes. All of them are coded by DNA, especially a piece of DNA known as the gene. Also recall that this DNA is arranged in 46 chromosomes inside your nucleus. Sugar backbone, which is deoxyribose sugar, nitrogenous bases, could be any one of these, and phosphate. Pause and review. Here's your DNA double helix. Inside your cell, it will wrap around histones in order to get tight and packed into chromosomes. You have 46 of these in each somatic cell. If you want to make a copy of your own DNA, this is called replication. If you want to convert DNA to RNA, this is transcription. Take that RNA to proteins, this is translation. And of course, your enzymes are proteins. Please look at this picture one more time. Here is the big picture in genetics. Let's go. Your nucleus has DNA packed into 46 chromosomes like this. This is one chromosome, which is made of two chromatids. A piece of the DNA, i.e. a piece of that chromosome contains what? A gene, like this. And you got two copies, two forms, two alleles, one from mommy, one from daddy. Who is your daddy? The location of that gene on the chromosome is called locus. Now suppose that we have a tall individual. That tall individual could be uppercase T, uppercase T, or uppercase T, lowercase t. Why is that medicosis? Because the capital T dominates over the small t. Put differently, the big T is dominant, but the small t is recessive. That's why big T, big T, this is tall. Big T, small t, also tall. How about small t, small t? That will be a short individual. Let's look at this person. Capital T, capital T, exactly the same. Homologous homozygous and tall but let's look at this person oh small t small t homozygous but short look at this person oh one big one small hetero different zygous and he is tall next penetrance versus expressivity penetrance what are you trying to say well look at these individuals all right i have six individuals all of them have a certain allele, let's call it A. So here's A, you have A, you got an A, you also get an A, A, A. All of them are A's. However, half of them are blue in color, the other half are not. So when I ask you what percentage of the population express the phenotypes, i.e. the physical appearance, the answer is 50%. This 50% is called penetrance, which means the allele A was able to penetrate into half of the population. The next question is different. Suppose that all of these individuals have a certain genotype. Let's call it PP. But look at them. Some of them are not purple at all. Some of them are mildly purple. Others are a darker purple. Others are an even darker purple. What's that? Expressivity. In this case, variable expressivity. Because some of them have no purple, some of them have mild purple, moderate purple, or severe purple. This could be a disease such as a condition known as neurofibromatosis. Will you see patients with no symptoms, patients with mild symptoms of the disease, others with moderate symptoms, and others with severe symptoms? Expressivity. So let's recap. Your body is made of systems. Each system has organs. Each organ has tissues. Each tissue has cells. Each cell has a nucleus. Nucleus has 46 chromosomes. Each chromosome has two chromatids, which are chromatin. A piece is called the gene. You got a copy from mommy, a copy from daddy. These alternative copies are 
alleles. The locus is the location of the gene on the freaking chromosome. What's a gene? A piece of the DNA, a sequence of the DNA, which determines your characteristics, genetically speaking. Each gene may have alternative forms known as alleles. Look at the AL with the AL. The allele is the alternative. AL with AL. Usually, each gene has two alleles. One from mommy, one from daddy. Do we have exceptions? Yes, we do have exceptions, such as the ABO system for blood grouping. It has three alleles. IA, IB, and IO. A dominates over O. B dominates over O. But between A and B is co-dominance. What's the genotype? Your genetic makeup, something that I cannot see. How about phenotype? Something that is observable. It's a manifestation of the genotype. Example, your genotype could be capital A, capital A, or capital A, capital O. Either way, your phenotype will be blood group A. Here's the ABO system in a nutshell. We have two antigens, A and B. Isn't O an antigen? No, O means zero. Then we have four blood types, A, B, AB, or O. O is zero because this person lacks the A antigen and lacks the B antigen as well. We have three alleles, IA, IB, and IO. A dominates over O, B dominates over O. O is always recessive. Between A and B, there is co-dominance. And you end up with six possibilities. Why six? Because you have two chromosomes with three alleles. So if my genotype is OO, my phenotype will be just O, because O is recessive, so you will be O. How about AA? You will be A. How about OA or AO? A dominates over O, you will become A, phenotypically speaking. BB, you are B. BO, B dominates over the O, and you are B. How about AB? You will remain AB. You have both antigens. Now, please pause and review. We'll continue in the next video. If you like this video, you will also enjoy my renal physiology course on my website, medicosisperfectionalis.com. I also have a brand new surgery high yields course. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.